one issue clemency presents for a president is it's, it looks like there's not a lot to be gained from granting someone clemency in terms of the politics of it. But there's a lot that's at risk. Because if you give clemency to somebody, you give them a pardon, or you commute their sentence, and they go on to reoffend, it looks like you made a bad judgment call. And if it's a particularly bad crime, obviously, the public is going to be very upset with that decision. And because of that and the Willie Horton era of politics, where if you make one bad decision, presidents have been reluctant to do it. But that's really a poor way to frame the issue, because it's not looking at the benefits of doing so. And it's essentially saying, as long as there's any risk that someone would reoffend, we're just not going to do it. And not paying attention to the benefits of when you do it, which would be public safety benefits, letting people out early can be a public safety benefit because the longer time they serve, the more likely they are to have a hard time re-entering. People need pardons to clear their records so that they can get jobs and housing and benefits. So there's good reasons for doing it, but we've essentially adopted this policy in the United States. I don't know if it's intentional, unintentional, where presidents are just afraid to do it, but it's not a sensible way to regulate an area. We would never do that in another context. We wouldn't say, wow, you know, this vaccine has a risk in this one case of causing harm. We'd say, well, what are the benefits? to the vaccine. And if we found the benefits were great, we would do it. That is what we do. But in criminal justice, it's a no risk tolerance policy. And as a result, we're losing out on all the benefits that really do outweigh the risks.